Welcome. Welcome. The fresh air is overrated. The weekly source for anything gaming with wild map and curves. And Steiner. Again, and. Hey, it's Fresh Air is Overrated, episode number, uh, uh, man, I almost said 100, 214, there's a lot of episodes, there's a lot, uh, December 27th, uh, it's a Thursday between Christmas and uh, New Year's, that's pretty crazy, and uh, Signer's here as always. Almost as always, but yeah, I'm here, I'm ready to do this shit. Cool. I noticed that the music was also a little bit loud. Man, failing on everything, but it's all good. It wasn't. It wasn't like it was super loud or anything. It was just kind of loud. Anyways, uh, megascorcher.com. Go check out that website. It has all our VODs and MP3s. You can find our podcasts on iTunes and pretty much wherever you can find podcasts as well. And you can find a live broadcast on YouTube.com/slash/megascorchertv/slash/live. And uh, if you also subscribe to our channel, you'll just get notifications uh, just when you go to your YouTube page. So there you go. So let's just go uh, straight into games we're playing. I feel like that might lead to some discussion about stuff because there's not much this week. So yeah, well, yeah, always during Christmas and New Year's, gaming is. Um, I guess there'd be a lot of playing of games. Yes, there's the a lot of playing part, of not, games right now. Not so much gaming news. People got games um, on Christmas, and they're all like, yeah, I'm going to play yeah. back Call of Duty and Battlefield, and whatever else they got. Call of Duty? Well, yeah, that's I the, love that game. That's the game the parents get. You still like this game, right? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Comes out every year. <laughs> it's like it's a Madden, great game every year, right? Like Madden, but you don't like football, so I didn't get, I didn't get that one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, I, I couldn't play Battlefield 1 this week because my PS Plus expired this week. So I was just like, mm, I'm not going to pay for it quite yet. Cause I'm probably just going to go to EB Games. I got I got some free money at EB Games, so probably just go get it there. Yeah, that was one of my Christmas gifts. Oh. An EB Games okay. gift card. Monies, yeah. Okay. yeah and, then, well, and then over the break <coughs> with my parents and my family, I played some... Jackbox Party Pack 3 and we specifically played the one called Faking It where there's a faker in the group and you get a question like have you ever farted in your life and you're, you raise your hand and then the faker doesn't get anything so he's just supposed to pretend that he knows what he's doing and you're supposed to figure out who that person is so I'm um, you play with not your phone getting you that. play with your phone and it oh, tells you on your okay. phone what you're supposed to do, and the screen is like the main screen that everybody sees what's going on. Tells at the point. So, uh, yeah, I, I played Drawful, which is another one of those games where it tells you what to draw on your phone, and then you draw it, and then it comes up on the screen, and then everybody tries to guess what it is. Guess what? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, but but, but yeah. then all those guesses go up on the screen along with the real answer, and then you pick which one you actually think it is. So if you fool people, you get points with your fool answers. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a pretty cool game. game. It's was, fun. I yeah, I mm. what when we played, I got um basement cheese party. I just don't understand how the hell you're supposed to draw a picture <laughs> of that in sixty seconds for people to have the slightest clue of what the hell that's supposed to be. Oh, I don't know. But you draw like the, a the fu- house and then you, it's in the basement and there's just cheese yeah, down ha- there. Yeah, that <laughs> makes no sense. <laughs> um, but the fun part about that game is um, making up the answers to try to screw yeah. people over to yes. think. And they have I remember... stuff like that because like, uh, like a cheese basement cheese party is nothing. So yeah. there's going to be weird answers to that, whatever. But yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, because what was it? Uh, I think Thor had one that was like, um, what was it? Like, father and son at baseball game. And I put, like, he drew, like, a little thing, and it was, like, two people way at the top, and I put in nosebleeds, and I got, like, half the votes <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so, the fun part. It is yeah. fun to screw with people's brains. There's a game that's like that, but it's just words. It's not drawings. Mm. So it's questions, and then you go, you come up with fake answers to try to fool people with your fake, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah it's trivia, though. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I like those games a lot. Anyways, that's that's pretty much all I played, though. Pretty yeah, much so all I, I played. Pretty much played the exact same things as I played previously. So, yeah, Fallout 4. This time I played Dishonored because I realized that uh, because I pre-ordered Dishonored 2, I got the Dishonored Definitive Edition, so I got all the DLC. So I decided to go play the DLC for Dishonored. Uh, played some more Dishonored 2, and then StarCraft 2, of course. Sweet. I'm Steiner. Oh, do you know something I did I this do. weekend too, though? What's I that? I watched UFC on freaking Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I was, yeah! I was just cycling the channels, and I was like, what? Yeah. That's crazy. And I was just like, yeah. hey, why not? There's nothing else on. <laughs> I've yeah. seen well, this stuff it, already. I guess that's something we would talk about Yes, in next, Scroll and Brawl, but, the next show. Um, yes. Dana did say that that's something they're going to start doing mm-hmm. every year is put the event of the year on at Christmas Eve. Or maybe like uh, just put a bunch of best fights together. But yeah, something, something, something along like that. those lines. He'll, they'll figure it out. They have a whole year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, speaking of Christmas. Yeah, that's what I got for Christmas. Okay, I can't. Okay, well, Civil War. Okay, I was just yeah. Mike Stan's kind of blocking it. <laughs> no, yeah, Civil War, and yeah, so I watched that. It was good. Uh, it's not that I don't believe you. It's just I, I just don't want to believe you. That it was good, or that I watched it. No, that it was good. Oh, I totally believe that you no. watched it. That's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you know, it, it only made like one point. Three billion dollars worldwide. That doesn't mean like it's that, good, yeah. man. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't mean it's good. Okay. Jeez. I don't know. Well, I'm <laughs> really excited about the new Spider-Man. It should be funny as like that guy plays it really well. Again, I believe you, but man, I don't know. I don't know, man. It, I like the last two Spider-Mans. <sighs> yeah, Gar- Gar- Garfield wasn't. It wasn't Garfield's fault about Amazing Spider-Man Two. Like that was. Like he even freaked out at the one of the producers, which is one of the reasons why he was fired. Um, that like he freaked out saying something like, "This is not right. This is stupid. This the fans aren't going to like this." Well, you know, if there was a third and movie, kind of right. If there was a third movie, that second movie might make sense. <laughs> no. Hey, I like parts but, well, of the second movie. It's oh no, yeah, no, like there, were, yeah, but it's just well, it, no, well. <laughs> Look, Rhino, Rhino was Rhino. Oh was no, Rhino bad, would have that, been cool if they made no. the third movie with Rhino. No. That would have been all right. No, I would have no. been cool with that. Yeah. No. Uh, what's his name uh, again? Um, uh, uh, Paul Giamatti. Oh man, that would have been totally cool. Yeah, I've been all right with no, that. No, <laughs> I, I the mechanical Rhino. No, no. And that's, oh, that's one of human. the things that he was a human. Who cares if whatever whatever makes him into a a, a humanized Rhino dude? I don't care. Yeah, but because <laughs> you see him as a human in the second one, he's totally just a human. yeah, I know, yeah. yeah, and then he gets into a rhino suit, and that's how he becomes the rhino. Yeah, that's f- I'm whatever, that's cool. I don't mind. Yeah. They can make it. They I, can I, make I it their a, own. I'm I'm alright with that. I had a bit of an issue with that, <laughs> um, and so did like ninety percent of the people that saw the movie. Ah, uh, the well, other ten percent. Uh, you know what? Just... Everybody has a problem with. Toby Maguire like dancing around and stuff. I had no problem with that scene. It might have been a little bit too long. Just just a little bit too long. He danced for a little bit too long, but you know, that scene was okay with me. Yeah, I don't think they did <laughs> Black Suit Spider Man correctly. Oh no, the third movie was I the the whole third movie yeah. was bad. I did not enjoy it particularly. And to the point, yeah. You know. Like what they did with uh Spring Break guy, I I, I don't like yeah. Spring Break guy? Who who's that? Um <laughs> He was his. Uh, he was Osborne. <laughs> oh, um, I I, I can't remember. Franco, Franco, Franco. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, sure. Um, <laughs> well, he just what they did, like, had, yeah, just yeah. First Jay- movie fantastic. Second movie fantastic. Third movie was a big pile of donkey shit. The third movie just was too much. It was just too goddamn much. It was like. Harry Osborne is uh yeah whatever. well there was just things yeah that they shouldn't have put it like the whole vent they should have just developed Venom oh Venom yeah better. Venom could have been his own movie but, but there was Harry Osborne in there and there was Sandman as yeah. well I didn't 
Yeah, then Harry well, the was the Sandman a good guy stuff I didn't end. mind too too much, but the the Osborne shit was just a fucking no. Well, and then the thing about including Sandman is they it was just like a whole backstory with uh, Uncle Ben. Oh God, please no Uncle Ben. And then you know all all yeah. that it was just way too much for one goddamn movie. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. But you probably could have fit Sandman and Venom in that. Mm, but probably. <laughs> They didn't. Uh, yeah. Same, the exact same. That's what Sony likes doing for some reason. Is just oh, putting too a much. A lot of in. that movie was black suit Spider Man. Like Venom was pretty much ne- the end of that movie. Yeah. Well, they didn't even do black suit Spider Man properly though. That's but whatever. It, yeah. They ha- they it, a lot of it was Peter Parker being a different. Dick. Mm, pr- yeah, pretty much. Opposed to <laughs> actually properly doing black suit Spider Man and having emo hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we talked about the new releases last week. I don't... There's two of them. They don't really matter. Okay. If, if you care I'm about them, go go listen to last week's show. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care to go back to them. <laughs> All right. So, news of the week. Uh, there's there's some stuff. Not too much, but a, lo- a little bit. So, uh, this, this one Smash Brothers arcade stick that's been floating around on the internet and uh, people seem to like it because it doesn't use a joystick it doesn't use anything it's all buttons it's all buttons so I'll try to pull up this picture here if I can do it in time so it's like a d-pad opposed to yeah it's, it's like a d-pad but it's all buttons like it's literally all buttons like even to push up it's a button well, I just don't know about that one uh, for for uh, smash bros it's alright I guess so yeah uh, okay see people seem to like it so i'm I'm just trying to actually pull this up where the hell did i say that oh here it is okay so this smash bros stick is definitely an interesting one anyways so i'm bringing it up because there was this tournament called genesis 4 that was planning on banning the stick even though it doesn't do anything like superior It it does exactly what you can do on a gamecube controller but it just it doesn't break as much as a GameCube controller because those those controllers are not that great. Especially the analog stick tends to break down after some yeah. time. Well, I can understand that if the analog stick is actual buttons, it'd be far more precise. Well, you can play that game with a D-pad and an analog stick, so it doesn't really matter. I think. Oh, so you're, I, think? I, I haven't played it, so I have. I no haven't idea. played so, it in well, a long time. Is there's the an, there, like there's analog, and then there's D pad. So I would assume they're two different things. It's possible, but I don't know why you would want the D pad to be different in that game. There's already and so many goddamn buttons to do stuff. I don't know what the hell C stick is. Well, the C stick is the and, C stick. It's the right analog stick, like on the actual why controller. Because that's what it is. It's the C stick. Because you're seeing. You. No, because it's a C on it. And it's oh, a little tiny nub on, on the, that GameCube okay. controller. Yeah. yeah. This is a GameCube controller, okay. just in a it, It's just been a very long, long, long time since I've <laughs> held a Nintendo controller. So, well, yeah, no, I, well, they had it to see <gasps> buttons or whatever for 64 as well. So, that's how you moved around in Bond or looked around in Bond. What? It was this, uh, the C button? No. Uh, yep. Yeah. It was the yellow buttons up in the yes. top. Yes. You didn't really need to look around in that game too much anyway, so... Not too much, no, but in multiplayer, you had to. Anyways, they were okay. planning on uh, banning it, and then the company came up, and they talked with them, I guess, and they negotiated it, and they were like, hey, yeah, they're right, it doesn't really do anything, and they're like, hey, cool, we'll approve this one. And let me guess, like, the top five finishers all use that uh, I don't think that tournament has happened yet, really, with oh, those controllers, okay. so, yeah. I th- I'm pretty sure some people have used it, but I don't think it's a widespread thing, really. Mm. That's interesting. I could see I could see the benefits, but you would have to like relearn playing it all over again because it's such a yeah. goddamn yes. controller. So the free PS Plus games for January 2017 got announced this week. You can get Day of the Tentacle Remastered for the PS4. Also cross by on the Vita, so you can get get it on the Vita. Uh, this war of mine, the little ones. That's a PS4 game. Ble- so is because the this war of mine is a game. Yes. So is yes. so is this DLC no, or this is, is this free. like a sequel? You're, no, you're getting it. Uh, well, I have no idea. I have no idea. 
Look it up. Or is it self-standing? Or yeah, I Look guess that might be a good uh, idea. Blaze Rush is a PS3 game. If you still play those things, uh, the Swindle is a PS3 game, but you can play that on the PS4 and the Vita. Uh, Axend Two for the Vita, and then Titan Souls for the Vita, but you can also play that on the PS4. So there you go. Those are the free games that you're getting. And uh, Steiner's looking up what this War of Mine, the little ones, is. All right, so Battlefield 1, uh, the players are trying to organize a truce on Xmas Day. I think that's what they did during World War One, right? Something like that. They did a truce during Xmas um, where nobody got shot for one day. Uh, well, they were supposed to be, yeah. I, I don't know if that actually held up entirely for all. Oh, well, you know, it held up mostly. Five years plus. Held yeah. Mostly. <laughs> but uh, they tried to do it in the video game. And of course, you know, a lot of people got a game on Xmas and they didn't, they didn't give a shit about no truce. It's a game about killing each other, man. Come on. Uh, it would have been funny, though, to just have no kills in a Battlefield game for one whole day. Everybody's just friendly. Hey, I'm trying to capture this. Can you please move out of the way? Come on, man. <laughs> but yeah. Did, did, did you find out anything about that PS4 game? Um, it is an actual full release game, so I'm assuming it must be like the Game of the Year edition of mm, maybe. PS4. Mine. I have no idea what it's like not, is even, so. It's like a side scrolling thing. Like I, thing? Well, do yeah. you shoot in it or do you hit people? Do you. Um, yeah, there are guns. <laughs> there are guns. All right. I'll take that. You're a human then? That's just walking? Um, kind of, yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, so. Remember how Oculus VR was kind of in shit with uh, Palmer Lucky for a little bit? And he kind of just yeah. disappeared, never to be seen again? Well, yeah. <laughs> v- the, the, the company Oculus, they're going to be in more shit. Uh, well, they already are. They're gonna, Like, it's mm-hmm. kind of weird. But hey, so there's a guy called Do- Do- Dov Katz. I'm assuming that's like some weird Swedish or Finnish name or something. Anyways, he was the head co- of computer vision at Oculus VR. He was arrested near Seattle on December 21st for allegedly soliciting sex from an underage girl. And uh, this is according to uh, record. Well, he got he got charged, and those records are out. You can show, just totally go see most of the texts that he sent out to and stuff. I, I, I would have got them, but it's not really worth it. Anyways, so he was going to pay 350 bucks to have sex, uh, unprotected sex, with somebody that he thought was 15. Well, first of all, th- this went down on Backpage. If you go on Backpage, don't have unprotected sex. That's just, that's like rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, something about 15-year-old might also be a problem. Well, but, so hey. the ad said the ad said 19, and then she said in her text that she was 15, and he was like, ah, cool. That's kind of why I didn't want to really get the text. It's just like, you know, mm, this guy's a piece okay. of shit already. You know, well, it's the, the whole thing. Because the age of consent in Canada is 16. Where's Oculus, though? Where's where's Oculus and Facebook? They're in the U.S. So I'm yeah. assuming. It's, uh, and isn't it, it goes 19? state by state. Is it most no, states Well, it goes. It goes uh, it's not 15 either way. No, no. <laughs> it, it'd be 16 or older. Mm. I don't know if the states uh, has anywhere that's sixteen. It might be well, like seventeen like the, or the eighteen. Young, the youngest, the youngest would be seventeen. Now there are some weird loop to do's um, because if you're married to that person, even if they're underage, you can then still have sex with them. And uh, like I do know, a. yeah, like I know, like <laughs> um, some of the southern states have that clause. Sure, that um, clause he says. Or whatever of the <laughs> cause, well, it's for Mormons. The Mormons sure. put it out of that they have sixteen wives and two of them are well, if like the Mormons 14, did it. Then so. that's in Utah, right there. That's a that's a yeah, crazy I state, don't... right there. Don't go, don't go there. Well, yeah. no, go there for for a visit, sure, why not? But don't don't live there. You you, you don't want to go if to you're Utah. You're an outsider, There's anyways. No if you were if you were born and raised there, I'm sure you're all right. I'm sure you're you're used to it by now. <laughs> but but yeah, hey hey yeah, Oculus man, crazy. The, the Palmer Lucky stuff, to me, <clears throat> wasn't that bad. It's just what he spent his money towards was kind of bad. This is totally bad. This is, this is like some next level shit. <laughs> yeah. 
oh man, not a, it's not a good year for Oculus VR. And it's like, this is the end of the year. They, they were so close. Yeah. They were so close. <laughs> they were like, we got this Palmer lucky mess out of the way for the most part. We're, we're good. We're good. Oh, don't, shit. <laughs> I, I don't entirely get that, but sure. Uh, no, the Palmer lucky stuff I get. Like, look, and then he came out. No, I, I mean, well. Oh, no, oh, the, the, yeah. For me, yeah. what what that story was about that is just that he was straight up bullshit lied afterwards, and then he's like, "I'm voting for a third party." Blah, blah. Who cares? Like, that's not the problem. That's not that's not the issue. Is that the issue is that you spent money to be a troll online and bullshit Hillary people and like whatever, man. Everybody's trolls online anyway. So yeah. But yeah, that, that was the issue really, and a lot of people felt really offended by it. I said so whatever. I didn't really feel that offended by it. But then he he just lied. He just. And then he disappeared, which, hey, for Facebook, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happens mm -hmm. with people on the internet. And then uh, the last news story here, I, I might check up if we have some <gasps> new updates coming in, but uh, Nintendo filed for a trademark. It's uh, Eternal Darkness. I I've never heard of such game, but they filed it on uh, December 20th. With the U.S. Patent Trademark Office. Patent and Trademark Office, sorry. So yeah, uh, the file could just be related to Nintendo's Switch reported ability to play GameCube games. That's all it could be. So don't get too excited. Because there is a technic... Te there's kind of a sequel coming out. Yeah, I know. But so. that that's what I would assume. But... Wouldn't they already have the patent for Eternal Darkness? Because I don't think that's a Nintendo thing. I think that was um, owned by what's his name and the company that made uh, Two Human. Uh, uh, Silicon Knights. Yeah, I think that might have been owned by Silicon Knights. I'm not sure because there is there is a, a Eternal Darkness thing on uh, Kickstarter right now, or it was on Kickstarter. I'm not sure. So I'm just uh, looking up on Kotaku here real quick to see if there's yeah. stuff. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's a partnership between, for the designers of... So I don't actually know who would own. Hmm. Interesting. Because like, it, it was a partnership between Silicon Knights and... Uh, Minoto. Blah, me speak good Japanese. Miyamoto. Sure. Yeah, so I don't really know who exactly owns that now. So, yeah, I guess if I actually go into the wiki and read the whole thing, I might be able to figure something out. But it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's that's a lot kind of, of work for almost <laughs> nothing. It's development short film emergency now. Canceled sequel. Yeah, well, yeah, because of Too Human. Silicon Knights is no longer. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty much it for video games, to be honest. I don't have too much else this week. Uh, I was even looking up everywhere else, but but Shadow of Eternals on May 2013. It was announced. It's mostly just game of the year stuff right now, so you can go to any video game website to go check. Oh, okay, so this is what you're talking about, the uh, Kickstarter. Okay. Yes, yes. And uh, I'm sure if you go to a bunch of video game websites right now, too, the the top thing is going to tell you that Carrie Fisher died, which is mm. not. It's not. It's not. That's not very. Well, Carrie Fisher died, games. and then her mother died because of stress of Carrie Fisher dying. I, I wonder how her health was <laughs> beforehand, no, though. Is what I'm, I really I'm sure wondered. She had she to been in her. I know 90s. she must. She was have in been her 90s, so, so she. I'm sure it wasn't great. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. I could, great. I'm sure she could have been stressed by any anything that could have killed her before that. But man, that yeah, your daughter die. I'm sure that's crazy when you're freaking ninety something. But yeah, um, she didn't live a very clean life. Oh, even even so, at the end, it was pretty obvious. And yeah. like she was talking a lot of shit in the last three months. Well, maybe not three months. Whenever her book came out. Was it maybe the month ago? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I think she's been clean for the last few years because Disney wouldn't work with her if she wasn't. They oh, would yeah, no, cut hey, her. I'm not saying that she was but, totally active, but you can tell yeah. just the way that she acts still. Like, 
she, oh she, yeah she was pretty open about everything and pretty you know she said that she had an affair with uh who, who why why am i blanking on his name i don't uh, know. not not luke skywalker but the other guy harrison ford yeah harrison ford i was totally gonna say harrison but for some reason i was like nah nah that's not the right name <laughs> um yeah. when like when he had a wife during Star Wars, I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Well, he is married now. But, but I'm pretty sure he's been sure married it would have been... multiple times. Oh, yeah, times. I think he's been married two or three times. Yeah. Um. <gasps> Mario Kart 64 is coming out to the Wii U Virtual Console today. <gasps> it's out right now. Oh, oh my God. It was a good <laughs> game in like 96 when it came out. But, but you can get it again. Yeah, buy it again. Yeah. <laughs> Super Not Mario Run Open. Yeah, oh my god. Super Mario Run Open's pre-registration for Android. Woo! Or, or, oh. or you could just get your 64 and the games that you still have and <laughs> play it. Or, you know, uh, uh 3DS or a, uh, a regular DS and just play or new Super Mario Or just do Bros. emulators. You could do that, but you know, if you if you have Emulators don't seem to work very well for 64 though. Uh, I think that the it works or not okay the visually. emulator itself. It, yeah, the control. The controller. For... Yeah, you just get a sixty-four looking thing if you really yeah. want to play sixty-four games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they were so bad. I don't want to. <laughs> they used to be pretty bad at emulating it. It only got better recently, like in the last two three years. Because mm. I remember for that, even there was a lot of problems with N sixty-four emulation. And then uh, I don't know something got cracked somewhere and they figured stuff out who knows mm -hmm. i'm not uh, an expert in emulation so you gotta go ask some russians all i know is that i download an exe and then i can play games which is pretty cool mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it's like uh. a zip or a rar fi file and then you gotta un un yeah. Un yeah good old oh hey files. i totally have another video how th th did i not write this in the news I don't see no. anything about a video. Man, okay, so I have a video. There's a new Double Dragon coming out. Who? Which is totally weird. Mm, like, I don't know if you I don't know if you'll think that when you see the video. Okay, once I see the video. <laughs> so now look. is this CD side scrolling or it is, is this side scrolling? Like, it is side scrolling. Okay. I gotta watch this video then because okay, it's going gonna be to horrible, it. I take it. Uh pretty much. Who like this is? Who did Double Dragon? Capcom? No, it was some. Okay, so this is Arc System Works. They worked on uh, the fighting games. Uh, what's what are they called? Uh, they worked on which fighting games? Blaze Blue and another one. It's pretty old school too. It was on the PS One. Anyways, so King I, of Fighters or something? No, no, it's not King of Fighters. It's a. Uh, it's another anime looking thing. Like okay. like Blaze Blue. Uh, what was it called? Guilty Gear? No, Guilty... Gu Guilty... Guilty Gear? That would be very animated based. I think... Is it called Guilty Gear? Guilty there, there's a Guilty something. Gear... There's a Guilty Gear that's... Uh, it's yeah, a fighting? fighting. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah. then yeah. I guess it's Guilty Gear. Um, no, so I trust their gameplay making skills. It's just uh, when you see this, you see a bunch of Nintendo games, right? They're just the first three Nintendo games. And then okay, all of a sudden, it, it's like a, it's just another Nintendo game. <laughs> that is Nintendo. I'm confused. So it just looks like a Nintendo game, but better. There's more moves, and there's girls in it. So, that so it is eighty era uh, eight bit. Yes, it's called Double Dragon Four. I don't know how I feel about it. It's for PS4 and Steam. It's out January 30th. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, no, it doesn't look horrible. It's just I was expecting oh, it to be like the movie or something. The movie? <laughs> yeah, you never saw Double Dragon the movie? Yes, but that's that's super old. Why wouldn't anybody bring that up now? Because it was just fucking horrible. Double Dragon using the that movie, IP. let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's actually coming out pretty soon. Yes, in, the, in about the um, a month. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, I trust the, that the, the gameplay moves. will be all right, but, you know, it's still a Double Dragon game. Fair enough. Double Dragon Neon was not bad. I actually enjoyed it, and it had uh, some fun twists. 
to the formula. But it straight up started like J- Double Dragon 1. Your girlfriend gets her ass whooped and then you're like, let's I gotta go save her. <laughs> and that's how well, that's it how would be the same concept as what the Mega Man's were or whatever. Now, fair enough, if they can actually put together a good enough progression of how everything works, then... I wonder if, th- if this thing has online... Because I'm never going to sit with somebody and play. Oh, I, well, I would maybe. think I would have maybe. to. <laughs> I could maybe play with somebody, but who knows? I think it would have to. If it doesn't, that would be idiotic. Yeah, it would not be fun to. Well, you know, I would still play it alone, but I would rather play it online if I can. Yeah, and yeah. The, double, and the thing about Neon is I didn't pay for it, so there is that. But for what mm. it was, it was actually not bad. Now. I would assume nowadays you're likely have your own. No, I'm just thinking back to the Contra days. Yeah. When you were playing with somebody, if you had like you just had the pool mm-hmm. lives. If they did that now, how raged people would get online if they actually had a pool of lives <laughs> and someone walks in, just kills himself like four times quick, and then. So that's not how Contra worked, but I think you had to push like select and start and you could steal lives. So you had to know you had to know what button to push to steal the lives. I sworn Contra was No, cuz Contra you, you can share lives. you can share the lives but you have your own separate lives. So when somebody's game over, I th- you can definitely steal the lives but you had okay. to push something. It wasn't just like oh, your game over, here's another life from the other guy. No, okay. you had you had to do something. I, okay, then, then I obviously knew how to do that, or the group mm-hmm. that would play. I, it, I feel most games had separate lies, but some games allowed you to share if you wanted to. Because I like Double Dragon, uh, not Double Dragon. Well, Double Dragon Two, but like uh, Battle Toads is definitely separate lives. The, uh, yeah, Double Dragon separate lives too. Yeah, no, I definitely remember Double Dragon being. Double Dragon. Like I remember oh. so, having that problem. So you oh. want to talk about the NES games. Uh, the first Double Dragon is okay. It's not great. There's no two-player mode except for that versus thing. Mm. And then uh, the second Double Dragon is pretty okay. There's a two-player mode in there. And the game, the game's all right. It's not fantastic. It's pretty short. And then the third game, though, is total... Oh, the third game on the Nintendo is terrible. That's a bad game. I don't know if I ever played Double Dragon 3, if that's uh. even what it was called. Well, it's called. Like I, I Blood? played Double Dragon Two. Bloodstone. What was fucking that game called? D- Double Dragon Three is the game that is totally different on fucking everything. If you played that on arcade, it's a totally different game. Uh-oh. If you play that on Genesis, it's a totally different game. Oh, the, the Rosetta Stone is what it's actually called. But then on the Nintendo, it's called the Sacred Stones. Oh. Yeah, I, I I actually think the Rosetta Stone is not bad. For it, for what it is, it's kind of weird, but it, it, it's better than the NES game. That's for sure. And I, pff, God, the NES game is terrible. Sorry, was <laughs> it? You're saying Genesis or Master System? Well, Genesis. Well, Genesis would have been Super NES. Well, the Genesis came out before the Super NES here. It, okay, the, well. it came out significantly before. So by the time so Double Dragon Three came out on the NES, the Genesis was already out. Okay. Came out in ninety one here, and then when when the fuck did the Genesis come out here? Well, maybe okay. Double Dragon three could have just came out later on the Genesis too. Mm. There is that because the Genesis one was the arcade game. Might have been okay. a little bit different, but it was the arcade game. I yeah, th- th- man, the arcade game is weird because there's like so many different power ups, and you can be different characters in that game that aren't the Double Dragon. Mm, the brothers yeah okay so man yeah it came out in 88 the genesis here oh 89 89 89. yes the genesis is old as fuck yes the genesis came out way before the super nintendo that's why they were saying the 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 genesis does the but the nintendo don't because it's so early those those commercials were so early and then the Super Nintendo here in the States came out in 1990. So, yeah. So, like, a, if... Uh, no, 91. So, two years. The Genesis was out here two years before the Super Nintendo. That's not that bad. It's not... 
a huge difference. Hey, hey, 91 and 89. Nine. 91 was the Super Nintendo and 89 was the Genesis. Okay. In North America. If you go to Japan, yeah. it was came out two in, a year earlier in both both regions. There is a next box live sell going on right now. Uh, it's going on for a whole week. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, they're changing games every day. Oh, I see. So right now I could get Batman Telltale series episode one for free. You could get the whole season for twelve bucks. And then you could get Rory McElroy PGA Tour for twelve bucks. Yeah. Ah shit. So they had some careful. okay stuff in, in the uh, in the sale though this whole week so far. Like uh, Rayman Legends was eight bucks. That's Peggle two. The whole the whole thing was fucking three seventy five. If you don't have Peggle two, that's that was totally worth it. Uh, Metro Double Pack was sixteen fifty. So yeah, there's still a few days left of this. So you should go check. You should just be on the Xbox on there every day and make sure you get some cool deals. So there's some okay stuff there. So Sega was always a year and a half sooner than Nintendo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the Master System is old. That's an old thing. Yeah, yeah. It was well. It eighty. It was. That was way okay, before no, I was sorry. born. Like, way before. <laughs> it was 85 in Japan and 86 Oh, man, I thought it was North way... Man, they released it here and they were just like, oh, shit, let's get this Genesis thing out. No, sorry. No, okay, no. 85 <laughs> for the NES. And the Master so System, you said 86? After. Six, yeah. So it was yeah. a year after. Man, it was just... It was like two years and then the Genesis was out. They really didn't care. That, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's why Sonic was on the Master System too, because it was so short. They were like, "We still gotta support this thing," I guess. And then Xbox came along, and they were just like, "We're done. We're not supporting this anymore." Bye, guys. Well, <laughs> Dream, Dreamcast got wall. Well, well, that yeah. was a well Sega, Sega did some. If Sega could have still thing, supported Sega it. They would the, have, man. Yeah. This, well, yeah. they did the. <laughs> Um, Genesis, and then they had the, the Saturn bomb. Well, the sixty-four or thirty-two bit Genesis well, attachment uh, thing. What was that called again? The the thirty-two X. Yeah, the thirty-two X. Yeah. 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 No. Like, let's not even talk about any of the attachments. And then they the had Genesis Saturn. That's not and even worth had... talking about. <laughs> the Saturn just totally bombed because they were like, "Hey, it's out right now," and you are like, "Huh? What?" Okay. Yeah, they released a lot of it. systems. Shit. Yeah, and then the Genesis, and then the the Dreamcast was fucking cool. It's just by the oh, time yeah. the Dreamcast came out, everybody was just like, "You fucked pirating us with the fucking Saturn." So, well, the, and the, the pirating no, didn't no, help. Pir- too. The pirating really fucked. Oh no, them the Sega pirating. Cause... Yes, it really fucked them. But the the Saturn already fucked them so much that I don't know, man. Like EA wasn't on that system anymore, well, and the thing is, they shit. sold a lot of Dreamcasts. Oh, the yes, yes, the Dreamcast is good, but. The the people were buying it because they knew they could go online and just rip games and get the games for free. Mm-hmm. Downloading one game back then took like two days. So yes. So uh, and that was like seven hundred megabytes. <laughs> um, well, they got down. Yeah, they got down to seven fifty or less. Because the thing is, they when they originally came out, there was a, like um. Well, it was like nine hundred. There's a lot of games that were GD ROMs. I yeah, think, they right? they had to. I think compress it was one point a bunch of shit. Like gigs. if it was music and stuff, just compress the music down. Yeah, yeah. But they had to like it, it didn't start off that way. Like it was some games they actually split it so you or you, they took out the music completely mm-hmm, or whatever mm-hmm, to get mm-hmm. it into a disc. Yeah, and uh, you had to use a boot disc at first, and then it was just yeah. in, in every game basically, so you could just put the one disc in and it was just start. Yeah, you know, good old piracy. <laughs> it was so easy on the Dreamcast. I had I had something on the Xbox, but you had to like fucking solder something in there. Yeah, yeah. And then there was a little switch you could go into original mode and pirate mode. It was cool. I didn't really do too much with the pirate mode, to be honest. I would borrow games occasionally and then put it on the hard drive, and that was it. Yeah. 
Because that was the interesting thing is that you could take out that hard drive and put in like a yeah, it's just a regular PC, fifty or hundred gig or whatever. Mm-hmm. That was a good time. Played a lot. Is that of a friend Hawk that put that in way. like a two hundred and fifty gig hard drive or whatever, and he had like seventy games on the system? Because mm-hmm. he did. It was at the point in time where you could still rent games, so he just went in and rented a game like every week for a couple of months or whatever and had like fucking 100 games or whatever on the fucking system. Yeah. yeah I did some of that too, but eh. by the time I got that mod chip, I mainly I just got it so that I wouldn't have to change discs all the time and could just mm. conveniently all have my games on there. Then a few Wait other a minute, games like you could do on own. the PS3 and PS4? Uh yeah, but you got to put the, you got to put the disc I, in there though if you have the disc version. Well, yeah, I know, but the thing, I'm just talking about like downloading <laughs> games and having it on your computer. Yeah, you but you gotta like, download it. And, uh, well, you had to install it on a freaking times two DVD ROM. <laughs> uh, it'd be cool. <laughs> it'd be cool if you could like install your disc because every disc on the PS4 just install, installs to the hard drive. Like that's all it does now. So just yeah, using the yeah. disc for verification that you own it. Yeah. So it'd be cool if you couldn't put the disc in, but now you gotta put the disc in. So and then patches and stuff. Uh, patches are huge now. Anyways, so yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't have anything else to talk about. So let's just uh, end the show. Sounds good. So if you're interested in an MMA, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna do Sprawl and Brawl after. If you're not watching live though, that's it. We're done. Thanks for tuning in. Megascripture.com. That's the URL you wanna go check out. For all our VODs and MP3s, iTunes, and wherever podcasts can be found, we're also there. And youtube.com slash TV is our channel. Go like and subscribe stuff, I suppose, if you want to. And that's it. See ya. See ya.